Elementary teacher. First of all, I'd like to introduce Amanda Carter. She is our student teacher. And she made our PowerPoint for us. And it's making an impact on our students learning by Shonda Malone, Jack Kemp, Jean Viva, and Don Walters. Okay, at the T we we're reading first school. And at the beginning of the year, um, our children, when we looked at our data, the children needed rhyming. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with the TPRI, if you can't rhyme, you can't go on with the test. That's the first thing for the skill that they have to be able to producing rhyming right. words. Um, they have to, you give them three words and they have to say another word that rhymes and that's very difficult for mm -hmm. kindergarten. And We've always had a hard time um, getting them to rhyme so that they can go on to the next skill. So that's what we based our whole faculty study group on, is how to get these children to rhyme. As you can see, um, our highest one was 57%, and then our lowest was 17% of the children that are able to rhyme. So that was our focus. And um, on the, did you pass out the handout? On our handout are some activities that we have done to help them with rhyming. Um, these are the lists of some of the activities we have done, and we are going to show you two of them specifically, and uh, the first one, everybody has to stand up to do, so we're going to get you guys involved, and it's called the Rhyme and Move Song, and it's based on no. Okay. okay, if the word rhymes, you clap. Yeah, but it does not rhyme. You have to shake no. Shake no. Okay, and it's based on the uh, CD Shake, Rattle, and Read is the title of the CD. Don't mess up. Have to listen. Okay, ready? Listen to the words, it'll tell you what to do. Shake, shake, no, when the words don't rhyme. Shake, shake, she moves better than I do. Okay, And then um, we got smart boards mm -hmm. this year, so we were really excited. And I want to thank 
Allison Toller because she helped me um, to get us started with some activities. Yeah, that's just <laughs> She came to help. Um, so we have some activities and we started to learn how to do some things ourselves. And so we did this rhyming tile game, which is memory concentration, which the kids love anything with the smart board. So they'd have to come and click on a tile and then they click on another one. And if they rhyme, then we just leave it up there and they, they get a you know, they get a match. And then they go next person goes, B door, do they rhyme? No. Then you have to tap it back. So while they're just tapping, eight, skate, that child gets the wrong one. And then the next child taps, taps another one, pig, dig. I played this. I think she's got to rise this game. <laughs> uh, she does a small group in, with, in my class with the ones that are having oh. trouble with rhyming. So stick a five, so they have to tap it again because it doesn't rhyme. There's hive. There's hive, five, and so on. And they love to play this game. And then, of course, they have to remember where the rhyming word is, so they really like this game. Okay. Okay, and some of the, uh, um, wait a some of the other games that are on here, um, we both, we all picked about two things that have worked in our room, and then we wrote down the directions, kind of basic. So if you have any questions, you can email us, and uh, we can t give you better directions if you need them. Um, and then... At the end, Ms. Viva, at the end, we retook our test, our TPR, TPRI test, and um, our children yes. did a lot better. We were very happy. We still had a couple each that were still struggling with rhyming, so of course we still continued brainstorming about ways that we can help them um, continue to improve. But we were very, we were very um, happy with the, the improvements that we had made. So. Um, yeah, and, they were, and the, the thing that uh, Ms. Walters was saying is that until they can rhyme, they can't go on to the other areas that they need to master. So um, as soon as they get to the point where they have, they're considered mastered on the TPRI with rhyming, then they can start going into the other areas that we need to work on throughout the kindergarten year. So, um, How long was this, um, that period, what, six weeks, nine weeks, or... I mean, we, we just, we had meetings where we would just brainstorm on ways that we can do rhyming a different way, you know, and, and, these, and we just came up with a lot of different mm -hmm. fun ways to do it so they weren't, you know, going to sleep on us. <laughs> yeah. And I still have three that just can't. Two of them are Hispanic, and I think that's part. I don't know how to get an Hispanic child to rhyme. I just haven't figured that out. So I still have three. They're still a lot better. Oh, yeah, they're a lot better. They can get, like, three of them right, but they have to get four or five to pass the TPRI. They can do the other parts on the TPRI. They just can't rhyme. But the, the TPR score, the data, they will nev they'll never get to see what these kids can do because they can't rhyme. It's frustrating, but I don't. If you got any ideas of what's worked with you that we haven't said, email them, please. Please tell us. <laughs> Actually, they can rhyme, but mine they can. can't produce. Mine can't. Well, then mine can take <laughs> the actress and do it. But then when you ask them, you know, one of their own is like, duh. Yeah. You know, yeah. Mine can't. It's hard for them because you have to give yeah. them three. Yeah. And they yeah. You have to give them right. three.